Just wanted to say thank you again as we approach the end of Staff Appreciation Week. I wanted to bug you a little bit this morning to just give you a couple messages and a huge thank you again for everything that you do. It has just been an awesome week. Um, I've enjoyed watching all the messages to you that have come across in social media, all the thank yous. Um, it has truly been a powerful week. Um, I, I just go back to last Friday, too, and looking at the parade. You, I know this is sometimes hard for us to admit as teachers and to step away, but you truly are rock stars. If you look at all the messages that have come across this week, and I would venture to say that it's been just the quantity greater than ever because of what you're currently doing now. The parade uh, last Friday night was just phenomenal in terms of how many people waited in line to catch just a glimpse of you. Um, you're just a tremendous group of people, and I just truly wanted to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything that you do, um, not only during this time of virtual learning, but always. Um, I specifically wanted to talk about virtual learning um, a second during the Staff Appreciation Week and just express my appreciation um, and just share with you some lessons that maybe I've learned throughout this whole process. I'll have many more in August, but some things that I specifically wanted to um, tell you about today and say thank you for first lesson uh, that I think I've learned is I've probably made uh, your life more difficult because I can't really shut my mouth and I'll, I'll give you an example. So many times we do fire drills and I'm always getting questioned on do we really need to do two fire drills in September? Do we really need to do, you know, a fire drill once per month? And I say, well, you know, technically by law, we're supposed to do those. Are we ever going to have a fire? Eh, probably not, but we should really practice them. Well, lo and behold, a few years ago, we had a fire. And we've talked about having days off and I've talked to my kids about, yeah, you know, you may have a snow day or two and, um, you know, in your school career, because we, we really haven't had them lately. And then we were just having that conversation before last year and last year's what, what happened? Five cold days. So honest to goodness truth, we had the conversation uh, last summer that is never going to happen again. There's never going to be a year like last year where you have five cold days or you have days off school. Lo and behold, we have a pandemic. So I think one of the things that I've learned is I've probably made your life difficult this year because I can't shut my mouth. And going into this summer with my kids, I'm probably not going to say anything about next school year because who knows what it may bring. Maybe the um, I'm not really sure, but um, I apologize that I can't keep my mouth shut and I'm uh, causing all these things to happen. The other lesson that I think I've learned is connections. Um, what I'm really proud of you and what I'm really proud of us as a district is that we said we were going to be there for kids through and through, and I think we all have friends that work in other districts, and I think other districts flipped into different times, and I've heard of districts just flipping into this model only a couple weeks ago. We said that we were gonna be there for kids, and we have continued to be there for kids with those connections um, through the end of the school year, and what we said, what we had on paper in terms of our calendar, we're truly living it. And I think the other thing that's been, uh, I'm thankful for is the connections that you have with each other. We are connecting now more with other staff members than we ever have before. Um, I know we can't walk down the hallway and say hi to each other and, and plan together those spontaneous meetings in the hallway, but we are doing that now more than ever. Um, we are getting each other through this. It's just been phenomenal. And speaking for of getting each other through this, I would be remiss if I didn't mention anything about our furlough staff um, who just worked tirelessly those first couple weeks and then were put on furlough. You were not forgotten either. I appreciate all the staff members kind of reaching out to our furloughed staff and keeping them uh, in the loop on things and making them feel connected as well because you're certainly not forgotten you have been such valuable staff members as we all have um, going through this as well um, the the third thing that I learned besides shutting my mouth and, and the connections with how strong it's been for staff and students is our building closed but our community didn't and I've said that before and that's an important distinction to make um, there there was a school building closure but our school never closed um, I think it was when it kind of one of those watershed moments that I will always remember in my career um, going back to the fire, you know how I've mentioned this before, how staff just came in and just kind of helped with whatever. That last day with kids that we had uh, in this current situation, I will never forget um, how hard everyone worked. And not that we don't do this every day, but I know it was a chaotic day to say the least, um, hopefully organized chaos, but all staff pitched in. And we flipped into virtual learning literally over 24, 48 hours. It was just truly amazing how we were ready to go with kids. And again, not to make a comparison, but if you look around um, just what other districts have done and what our district did and what this team did at Riverside, it was truly phenomenal work, um, how everybody just went to work and said, what do we need to do to get kids ready to go into this early next week? And you did it. And it was just phenomenal. 
And the last lesson is, I know it's kind of a, uh, maybe I'll get a little cheesy here, hopefully not, but I know there's the quote that absence makes the heart grow fonder. Um, it's true. Um, I miss all of you a lot. I miss the kids. Um, I've, I've said before, I know I've talked to some of you that eventually someday maybe I want to, with those days that I get frustrated, I've talked about opening up a charter school in my basement and maybe making some of it virtual. Um, I have decided that I might still do the charter school in my basement. It will not be virtual. I've, I've had some experiences with virtual learning over the last few weeks that have kind of changed my mind on that. But um, we do what we do to see the impact on kids and to connect with kids. And those connections are harder in this case. In the absence of those connections, seeing them, not that we're still not connecting, but seeing them really makes uh, the heart grow fonder of, of those connections and, and the impact that, that they have on kids. This has been a challenge, and I honestly couldn't think of a better group of people to go through this with. Um, I just want to say thank you again uh, for all that you do. I'm so appreciative. Um, happy Staff Appreciation Week. I hope that you took some time to just really reflect on all the messages that were coming across this week. Um, I am truly thankful for everything that you do, and I'm truly thankful for each and every one of you that I get to work with you every day. Um, I'm blessed um, to call at home and to call each of you friends and colleagues as well. So thank you for all that you do. I appreciate it.